welcome back everybody okay we're doing a cgc unboxing of 15 books it's going to be actually my first submission to cgc and this is my lovely wife donkey no eeyore eeyore well it's a donkey um i'm not going to give her her real name just uh, it uh, it rhymes with prissy <laughs> Believe me, in today's uh, world, they're able to figure out our names anyway. Okay, so um, the box has already been opened, but I have not looked at anything. My wife is going to be taking the, the books out, putting a post-it note over the grade, and showing you guys, and then telling me oh, we don't have that many books. We don't. Okay, so um, anybody that uh, shows you the boxes that they're sealed showing this you see you know i don't know what the grades are i'm opening the box in front of you it's kind of bs anybody ha if they really want to know the grades when you're they send you the notification that the books are on their way back you get a link which will actually show you all the grades of the book and the graders notes if i wanted to i could have looked online last you know on friday when weeks. no not weeks just on friday weeks only, ago only last week well, Friday is when they uh, they sent the link that had that information. Oh. Uh, no, it was actually in receiving for weeks, remember? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it must be a really big receiving department. Really tiny greeting room. Anyway, I finally got these back. I did mail them out uh, the last week of August. And actually, they received them all last week of August. And they didn't receive them until November, uh, September 1st. It was in their receiving department, but not received. Just bear in mind that well, when... was that the one when we... You sent it out when we were at the show. No, that was the CBCS submission that turned into a nightmare. This is the good one. This is the good one. Gotcha. Okay, now these books also I sent for pressing up in New Jersey and to Pop Culture Zone. Um, they did a really good job. And I'm start, I, that was before I started my own pressing. And these books ha have been pressed, have been lightly cleaned, and sent off for uh, submission. Um, not all of them are top grade. Some of them are, you know, upper, you know, very fine, not near mint, but they were good books. You'll see them as we get them out. And we are ready to roll. So it's all up to me? It's all up to you. Okay, turn away. Up oh, from fine. I'm going to grab another one of my little miniature food things here. Today's today's dinner is brought to you by Morningstar Farms, making vegans feel more human and less like an outcast every day. These are little pepperoni bites, completely vegan. Yes, I am vegan. You wouldn't believe it. But they're good. No peeking. I'm not peeking. I wanted to peek. I would have peeked last week. Yes, and I do apologize to everybody that suffered through the first six videos. I got to work today and people were asking me, Rich, you know, it's it's good stuff you put in there, but why do you sound like a therapist? He sounds very serious. Yeah, seriously? Okay, so. Okay. This is so you guys could see. Oh, see, I used that okay. I thought it was for Sorry. Me. Well, thankfully, there's... Same, same. Okay. Sorry, technical difficulties. Uh, don't know what that means. Meant I don't know. It said frames so. being dropped. Pick them up, quick! All okay. right, so we have Marvel Secret uh, Superheroes Secret Wars, number eight, first appearance of the black costume. That was 1984, correct? Yeah. I, wasn't, I knew it was December of 1984. This one actually came out after... Uh, Spider-Man 252, as we all know. Now, I have two copies of this. One is in a submission that's there right now, and this one. This one was, uh, I liked the condition of the book. It wasn't, oh my God, perfect. I have one that's over there right now that's, oh my God, perfect. <laughs> but this was still, I'm going to say a 9.2. Um, I'm looking at the spine on it. It's a, It's a bit off center on that. I'll make it a 9.0. A 9.0. Nine, okay, so 9.0 or 9.2. Go ahead. I'm ready. Okay, you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. I'm a newbie, sorry. Uh, it's an 8.5, which, you know, it sounds a lot lower than a 9 to the newbie. But uh, as everybody knows, 8.5 is one grade lower than a 9. So I was in the ballpark. Uh, the book is not really... Mounted squarely with the frame? That's odd. But, well, it, that's okay. I, was, I, I wasn't, I was like I said, it wasn't my higher grade one. I'm a, uh, The other one that I sent in, that's got a real solid chance at a 9.8. Um, that one was super clean. This one, I'm still happy with an 8.5. This is my first copy of this book. 
since I actually bought the book, you know, bought a copy back in 1984 and read it for the first time. I sold that book a long time ago and I finally have one back. Yay. Okay, so one down, 14 to go. And I'm going to have a little sip of my wink wink coffee. Ha <laughs> ha. And just in case my boss is watching. Yeah, we recorded this on a non-work night. That's correct. I say it's okay as long as you don't get snickered. No, well, I, I had a, an employee one time show up for work, and he's tripping over himself, and he's, you know, he's having a hard time. And I, you know, it's 6 o'clock in the morning. I said, I walk up. I'm like, dude, you're drunk. He said, no, 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 I was drinking last night. I said, what time did last night end? He said, 5.30 in the morning. I said, that's a half an hour ago. Okay. Sorry. Um, <laughs> okay, now, I did say that I sent this in at the end of August. I went through the whole store and found what I thought was the best copy of a book that I did not realize that there are 16 billion copies of. Um, I was hoping to have this back as a 9.8. I still think it's got a good chance at it, but I did not realize how overpopulated the 9.8s and, and how many copies there were made on this. Again, my first submission. I'm still learning a lot of things about the newer hobby. You know, I collected years ago. I'm getting back into it. So, I'm still sticking with a 9.8 on this. I, I really want that to be a good look. Good book. You ready? I'm ready. 9.6. That's disheartening. Okay, so as everybody knows, the cost of the book and the cost of the grading, I might break okay. even. No, it didn't go your way. <laughs> no, well, I didn't know if you wanted to look at Well, it. I'll look at the grader's notes later on. Um, I mean, it's fine. Everything looks fine on it. Uh, one, of the, one of the things I like about the CBCS is it's got the bark, uh, the scan code in the back. Then I can just pull out my phone and go boop and pull it right up on my screen. But this one I'm going to have to look up individually. Um, it presents well. I still like the look of the book. It's never going to go anywhere in price because of how many they printed, but... I uh, didn't know that when I sent it off. Uh, it's I'm not going to lose money on it. That's the bottom. So I thought that said Zelda. <laughs> I was actually thinking. Of, I almost got to when I, I stopped by GameStop because I had to pick up a microphone in case anybody knows. You can actually hear me now. Um, I stopped by GameStop and I, I looked all around the store and I asked him, "Do you have any microphones?" He said, "No, we don't carry them." And as I'm walking out, I look over on the side and there's like eight different microphones. I'm like, okay, I guess those are all empty boxes then. But um, I didn't like the, um, I didn't like the prices. And since I was going to Walmart right next door, I said, let me check there, see what they have. If they don't, are you covered? Yes. Okay. Um, so then I can put this down. Since if they don't have what I want, I can come back here and get one of these. And I got the blue snoop. Snowball. It's a, it's the Snoop Dogg microphone. No, it's this blue snowball, and it's not a top of the line microphone. I'm not ready to spend that kind of money just yet, especially since I don't have as many followers as I would like. But uh, it definitely does cut back on a lot of the background noise and focus it better. The white so. noise. Why is it gonna be white noise? Sorry. <laughs> anyway, we got beauty number one. The beauty number one. Um, this is for me a spec. I, I really love this book. I love the premise of it, uh, when people can just spontaneously combust. And I think that this has a great potential if somebody wanted to turn it into a show. So I wanted to get a real good copy, which I thought I got, and I sent it in for for CGC. And on this one, well, I was already disappointed with the last one. Let's keep it realistic and say nine point six. You sure? Yes. You really, really sure? No. <laughs> I would not be able to get hard for prices right. <laughs> okay, ready? Yeah. 9.6. Ah! Like I said when I started the video, I got a feeling I'm going to be ticked. <laughs> okay. Well, actually, I can see. Again, you hit certain lights and you can see it. And I see it right in that corner. There's an indentation in the spine. You know, this has really got me worried about a book I've got coming up. I've got the, um, actually it looks like a, a little bit of dirt on the back, which I do not remember seeing that earlier. Um, 
Well, again, it is what it is. I've got uh, Hell Arisen number three, and there is a, in my opinion, a manufacturer problem with the spine. I think it's just inherent with the type of paper and the way that it was manufactured. Now I'm really worried about that book because I'm not having good luck today at all. I got somebody as a grader, somebody who, who's, whoever graded my books, his wife must have just kicked him out of the house or something. So she's getting the next book ready. Picking and choosing. What are you picking and choosing? No picking and choosing. You only do that to your nose. Actually, why would you choose? That's a little on the gross side. Why are you choosing what you pick out of your nose? What's wrong with you? Keep that mask on. So I hope everybody's having a good Monday. Or whatever day that you feel like that you're watching this. I'm sorry, I'm having dif technical difficulties with the post-it note. Okay, there we go. Okay, ready? Yes. Okay. Now this one I purchased... Off, uh, this was one of my learning experiences that you can't see all the pictures, uh, all the defects in a book in pictures on the internet. Um, I was, This one looked good uh, from when I went to purchase it. I got it on Mercari and it came in and I was is this the same book? I, uh, the amount of color breaks that were in the spine, I was not happy with at all. Um, I then check the pictures, and when I start comparing, and going, yes, I guess that's a bad angle, but if you really know exactly where to look, you can see it in their photos. Um, 7.0 is the best that this book is going to be, in my opinion. Why did you double fold? So it doesn't block the, t the title. Oh, Marvel the Incredible Hulk. Uh, believe me, this is one of those books that everybody can see the, and know exactly what it is. But, no, but I like seeing the, the whole, I don't know. Okay, no, that's fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm going with a 7.0 on this. It might be a 6.5. 7.0. There we go. Hey, I finally hit one right. It was a bad grade. Anyway, I'm still I'm happy with it. I'm okay. I didn't pay a lot for it. I thought I was getting a great deal. It I like the to... cover. Well, uh, well, again, I'm, I'm good with it. I'm happy. And you can start getting the, the next book ready, and I will actually tell a quick story. Who wants us? No, nope. okay. didn't go over there. Boy. So, in the second submission that we have right now out at CGC, which hopefully you'll be here in about three weeks, um, my wife was coming home one day and saw a sign. It was a Friday, and she sees... It was a Thursday. It was a Thursday, as I said. Because I thought it was very odd for someone to have a garage sale. But as it turned out, they actually weren't having the garage sale. They were getting everything ready and figured they'd put the signs up anyway. So she decided to stop by on the way home from work, and she calls me up like, are you home? I'm like, yes. There's a garage sale. They have comic books. I'm like, okay. I, and when she called me, I think I was butt naked getting ready to go into the shower. There's a sight. And who? Sorry. That's okay. I will continue this in a minute. Star Wars number 42, first appearance of Boba Fett. Um, I got this earlier in the year. I mean, everybody knows Mandalorian and um, Boba's are going up. And this was... May I see this for a second? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got... It definitely had some foldovers on this corner. The spine is in pretty good condition. It's got one color break there. Uh, a ding up here in the corner. Overall, I'd, I'd say it's better condition than the Hulk uh, than the Hulk 340 that we just looked at, but not much, much better. Marginally better. 7.5 to an 8. That's my guess. Uh-oh. I <laughs> I think the look on her face is telling me, this ain't no 7.5. <laughs> Lower. 6.5. Lower. Just pull it, because now I don't want to know. <laughs> it, mm. 4.0. No, you were... Wow. See, I need yeah. a lot of help with my grading, obviously. Oh, wow. 4.5. I'm I, I, I don't see it as a 4.5. I'm sorry. I've seen other... Never mind. <laughs> okay, it almost looks like water damage on the back. I do not remember seeing water damage on this book in the first place. Yeah, there's definitely water damage down here. Oh, yeah. Oh. 
this whole corner. Mm-hmm. For anybody, I don't know if I, I should let the, uh, my, the, my wife here do this. This whole corner from here down. Yeah, there you go. You can see it very well there. And honestly, I did not see that when I sent it off. I don't think it got damaged in shipping or got wet in shipping because other books would have gotten wet as well. But, again, live and learn. Um, hey, look, I've got a I've got a Boba Fett. That's, <laughs> that's a fine with Boba me. Boba Fett, yeah! It's also the first appearance of Yoda. He appears in the last panel, if I'm not mistaken. Um... All right, so anyway, so she stops by this uh, garage sale. She calls me up. I'm butt naked and says, you know, there's a garage sale. It's a few blocks away. Can you come over? I, I was there in five minutes with clothes. <laughs> um, they had, the, the gentleman had these, they were in like lettuce boxes laying one on top of the other. And they were all Marvel comics from the 80s. And I could see 82, 83, 84. I could see X-Men in there. I could... I don't see, I see some Thor, I see Doctor Strange. And I said, how much are you asking? He said a dollar a piece. Now, it was also about, what, 110 degrees in that garage? It was like, it was hot. It was, it was. It was hot. It was very hot. We're in North Georgia and it was hot. And humid. Okay, not Georgia, not Arizona hot. Georgia hot. Hot, hot. Um, are we ready for the next book? Are you going to finish your story? No. Okay. Sorry. Strange Academy, number one. I got this when it first came out, and this is, look, I can say what I'm expecting. I can say what I'm hoping for. On this one, it happened to be the same. I really, really was trying to find one that I thought to be a 9.8. And what, I'm not getting any 9.8s today. I'm under uh, bidding on every one of my books. I'm going to have to say a 9.6, because that seems to be where I'm rolling my dice. You better not say lower. <laughs> but it's fun saying that. No, it's yeah. fun for you. Not for me. Yes. Hi. Thank you. Okay, and and one more important ones, and so that we've gotten so far a nine point eight. <sighs> I told you you can't do that to me. That's fun. Hey, you wanted me to do this. Yeah. Seriously. She helped me open up the CG, uh, CBCS book box. And she did the same thing with me on the Black Panther number two. She saved it for last, and I said a 9.4, and she went, mm -mm, lower. I went, what? And she pulled it off, and I saw 9.8, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, she's really trying to get that life insurance, man. <laughs> so, um, I asked him, how much for all the books? And he said, well, I've got 560 books there. I'm like, really? There's 560 books there? It doesn't doesn't look like it to me. I'm also used to seeing these space it stakes bags and board. These are all wide open books. And he say, "Well, I'll cut it down to fifty cents a piece and give me two hundred and eighty dollars." And I know a lot of people say when you're buying a bull, try to get them for ten cents a piece, twenty cents a piece. I can see these books that I'm not going to get them for ten, twenty cents a piece, and they're they're worth it. And well, keep in mind the week, the prior week before that, Rich said that I wish, with the whole COVID going on, there's not much garage sales or um, estate sales. So then that week he said, I just wish that people would have estate sales or garage sales with comic books. So then when this happened, it's like, oh, okay. Well, I I got him down to two hundred and forty dollars, which is a little bit less than fifty cents a book. And then I went through the boxes and pulled out a lot of good books. A lot of the books were in really good condition. None of them are white pages. I'll say that right now just because they were not protected from humidity. They were all off-white at best. But one of the books that was in there was a Hulk 340. Let's be honest, I actually have the entire McFarlane run. And there was a Hulk 340 in there in much better condition than the one that I have there. And that's in the second submission. What was funny was, again, 566 books I'm going through. I'm in the last stack. I got 20. I'm going through mm -hmm. them. And I'm down to the fifth book from last. This is at the bottom of the last box. Almost five books from the very end. X-Men 266. And the spine is immaculate. Not a tick. Nothing wrong. 
perfect. First appearance of Gambit. It's not white pages. It's off white pages. That's the only reason that that book is not going to be a 9.8. It's going to be a 9.4 to a 9.6 because of color of pages only. That alone paid for <laughs> the entire lot. I mean, there's a lot of other books in there that are multi-hundred dollar books. If you think about all the X-Men books between 150 and 300, they were all there. All runs. Oh, and just about every book in there was a newsstand edition. So, next book, please. <laughs> And then keep in mind, when I came across these boxes of comic books, I was looking through it. I'm like, I don't know what I'm looking for. So I called Rick and then said, hey, you got comic books here. I don't know what I'm looking at, so you better come. Okay, ready? Yep. Oh, Squirrel Girl. She's in the house. All right. Now, it's funny because I've, I've been looking on eBay uh, recently, and they have um, some copies that are lower. The, the price has come down on this uh, a bit. And I'm very surprised at that because I think that she's still got a lot of future with the MCU and with Disney Plus especially. Um, I liked the book on this one. I bought the book and then had, it's very hard to get a, a square bound book with a good spine. But the, the, the spine itself is very square still. I don't know if we can get that in the camera. Probably not. Trust me, it's square. But there are one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, definite cover color break, and one color rub. Everything else on here, you see some color rubs around. It's uh, it's better, obviously, than a four point. It better be better than the uh, Boba Fett. I better not have anything that low in here, but I'm still gonna call that a six point five. Oh, man, I'm not doing good today at all. 5.0. Wow. Well, we're going to be selling some books if anybody wants them. <laughs> uh, definitely will be selling that book and getting a better condition one for myself. But I've seen dealers at uh, Huntsville, Alabama, selling Raws that were in much worse condition than that. Still asking, at that time, uh, back in July, $95. And I thought the guy was nuts. Absolutely nuts. Oh, how do, by the way, I forgot to ask. How do you like those uh, sleeves that are on those? Uh, um... I like it all the way. I think I might have messed up. They might have been able to see the, the score right now. but oh, well. well, they're allowed. Okay. Okay. Ice Cream Man! Yay! <laughs> now, this is issue number 20. Um, I have three copies of uh, the second version, the second va uh, print variant, and I have a, a copy of the third print variant on order. I, I love all the covers of Ice Cream Man, and I think that this one has long-term uh, investability. That's why I got this one graded. Um... I'm just going to go to 9.6 and hope. I don't, I'm not even going to say the 9.8 anymore. I'll just say 9.6 and hope. Yes! Okay, so two books that I really did want a 9.8. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I really wanted the Strange Academy, and I really wanted Ice Cream Man. And those two are probably going into Prosa Collection, because uh, at some point I will, yeah. Come, come here. How are you? I missed you. Yeah, yeah thanks, wife. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, if anybody hasn't read Ice Cream Man, pick a pick up a copy. It doesn't matter which issue; they're all standalone stories. And the best way to describe it is, it's kind of like Tales from the Crypt ish. That was those kind of stories, but some of them they really make you think, and some people actually feel disturbed afterwards. They're like, I, I don't feel right after reading that, and it, that just shows you that the book is good enough to move you. Okay. Um, I'll trade. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We're doing, we're doing the one that I was worried about. Uh, I got this one on an online auction. Um, I remember what they said it would be. Uh, this one was through. Well, I'm not gonna say just in case I was wrong. Now this one has one manufacturing defect that I know, and if it's it's the way that the spine is, and it's just the way that they manufactured it. I've looked at other books that were 
9.8 and showed side pictures, and I saw the same exact defect. I don't know if they, you know, the person took off for that or not. They're not supposed to take off for manufacturing defects. If they didn't, this is a 9.4 to a 9.6. If they did, this is an 8. So, I mean, as you can see, it looks very well. The corners and everything look good. It's an issue with the spine, the way they folded the book. The back cover to the back, the front cover is white on the back, red on the front, and it almost looks like a color break the entire way down. But it's not. It's just that's the way it was printed. So, I'm going to err on the side of caution and say 8.0. You ready? Yeah. You're going to be disappointed. Your, your sarcasm, I'm starting to see through it, because I actually, I, I had a feeling you were playing me on that one. Okay, 9.6, and you see, honey, if you were to look at this, you see all the way down, the, all the white going all mm -hmm. the way down, and that's because, and it's, I'm sorry, I was wrong, it was pink in the back, but just the way when they fold the cover over, it breaks the, all the way down a straight line. 9.6. Okay, now, I didn't want to give him a bad name, and, and I again, this one came from... Rough edges, and you know you guys got it for me, and you guys gave me a really good deal on this, and they told me this was going to be a 9.4. Well, guess what? You were wrong. It was a 9.6. Okay, so again, big shout out to Shane and, and Dustin. Um, rough edges, you did it again. Love you guys. I'll put this over there. Thank you. See through my sarcasm. <laughs> well, I saw through the mask. That's what it was. Okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> boy, don't I wish I got this comic book back a month ago. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one, everybody knows, and I'm going to tell my wife, that when it first came out and first graded copies came out, and this is only, what, two months old? What's the date on this? June 2020. Okay, so we're now in four months ago. First appearance of... Uh, doesn't even say first appearance of. Anyway. This shot up to... $175, $200 for a 9.8. Now, they're already down to $125. Some people are selling them for $100, and there's no real interest in it because the character that they had the first appearance of has already been killed. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there we go. Well, who knew? So, this was one of the ones that I really wanted to get in a 9.8. I'm not going to press my luck on it, and honestly, it can come back at 3.0 right now. I don't care on that, but I'll say a 9.6. That's a 9.8. Hey, okay. The second half of the box was a different grader. Okay, or he, he went, you know what it was? The, the grader, he's doing 4.0s and 5.0s. The supervisor looked over and said, go get a Snickers bar. You're not a good grader when you're hungry. You ready? <laughs> yes. Okay, what is that, 10? We've done 10 books already, 5 to go. What are you putting? Oh, no. I thought you were going to be putting, like, crap books on one side and 9.8s on the other, but okay. Well, usually, well, I was, but I'm just putting them down now. Okay. Yeah, well, the next select, um, submission I have is 20 books. I pressed them myself. I did not clean them because I'm not going to try to do that. I know they're all off-white. None of them are going to be 9.8s. I'll tell you that right now. They're not. Well, there might be a one or two that I bought that weren't part of the collection. But they're all still good. I wanted them to have them slabbed. I wanted them professional. You ready? Yeah. Ah, X-Men number four. First appearance of Omega Red. Uh, this is one of the, another one that I looked for, a really good copy, and uh, purchased that one. Um, I liked it a lot. I'm going to go to 9.6 on this. Ooh. Ow. Don't hurt me. Intermission for the donkey. <laughs> well, I can try to pause. Oh, you just need to breathe. <laughs> you should see. She's so cute. You wouldn't even believe it. It's the same. It's that girl under there. Okay, so I'm looking at the book. I see one non color break tick in the spine. Or misalignments it's, uh, of the pressing. The back's got a little bit of uh, color change on the top corner. 
I guess you'd say like light light foxing. I'm gonna have to go and look at the um, graders notes on this. But okay, here's what it is. Oh, you got a book out. I gotta throw my head. Got Miss Softy's song in my head now from from the Ice Cream Man. Oh, I'm like, how the hell do you have an Ice Cream Man, uh, Mr. Softy? But you can have Mr. Softy. I can't. Okay, ready? Hmm. Ah, okay. That's the Venom second printing. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's the Venom second printing, uh, with a wraparound cover. Um, this one also, I, I think, I think this one's actually held its value pretty well, considering it. Well, it says September 2020, and I ship it off in August. That doesn't sound right. Uh, Marvel always has a different print date. Um, that was a really good... I'm going to take a quick look at it. <laughs> After that last 9.2. See if there's anything that I catch with my eye. Yep, I think I do, actually, already. Unless that's... I don't know what the heck I'm looking at there. Almost looks like a curved indentation in the top corner. I don't want to turn it over because I know it's got a grade on the back. I'll say a 9.4. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I, you know, this, this entire collection, it's for sale. I'm, I'm quitting. 9.8. Well, thank you very much for Venom Second Printing. I will have to check to see what the most recent pricing on that is, but that makes me very happy. It's some of the risks you take when you buy raw comics... Even if you think it's a good copy and you get back a 9.2 and what happened? There's a, another site named Skeff's Comic Knowledge. And I like Skeff a lot. I love watching his videos. You can really see a lot of emotion when he opens up his books. Ready? Mm-hmm. Transformers. This was not a mint condition comic book. <laughs> I just wanted a copy of number one and wanted to get a slab. Um, may I take a quick peek and gander at it? Tick, 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 tick. You can wind your watch with so many color break ticks on that spine. But the corners are sharp on it. It has good color. The pages were pretty dang good. Um, 7.0 with off-white to white pages. There. Roll the dice on that one. 5.5 .5 with full white pages. At least <laughs> that got better. And there are people that want a 5.5 .5 with white pages more than they want a 7.0 with off-white. Okay. I'm interested to, to see all these... Um... Graders notes? Yes. Yeah. They took off a lot for the spine on that, but... Uh, again, it's white-paged. The... We got two more books. Two more books! I want to thank you guys for hanging out with us on this one. Yeah. You know, in between these books, there's plenty of time for you to smash that like button, click subscribe, notifications, because I'm going to try to come out with videos on a regular basis, and you want to know when they are. I don't even know when they are. Well, that's because I, I wait till you fall asleep, and then I sneak down here. That's why I sound like a therapist. Thank you very <laughs> okay, much ready? for joining. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ultimate Fallout number four, the second print... Uh, variant. There's a Pacelli cover, I believe it's it's pronounced. This is actually my favorite cover. Okay, the other ones with the head, without the head. I I love the look in his eyes. I love the color between his, his the shadowing and everything. I, I I thought it was great, and I really, I with all my heart. This if I had only one nine point eight in his entire box, that's the one I wanted. Um, nine point eight. <laughs> Dun, dun, womp, womp, womp. <laughs> okay, I just went busted. Is that, that cracked? No. Okay, just the way the light was hitting. It looked like it was open. And I got to be say that I, I'm very lucky. I've been seeing a lot of people opening up uh, CGC boxes lately and getting at least one or two cracked slabs. I haven't seen any slabs cracked. I'm going to thoroughly investigate them before I... I have taken out the last book. That's heartbreaking. I really wanted a 9.8 on that. I'll have to do with the Strange Academy, I guess. And I'm going to have to find out where... Uh, wait, you know what? 
See the white dots, like the color break around the staple? Mm -hmm. That might be it. Yeah. Little white dots. Actually, you know what? I, I thought that actually is part of the artwork. I'll have to look. <laughs> Last book. I don't even know what I have anymore. Last book. Book. Ah, Spider-Gwen number one, first print. Well, I mean, I got this one. So a lot of the hype has gone down a little bit or changed uh, because of everything that's going on with Olivia Wilde directing some female-driven spider-ish type of, of movie with one of the 14 different spider-ish woman characters. So uh, some people thought it was Madam Web. Some people think it's Spider Gwen. Some people think it's uh, Arachnia, Arania, or whatever. This was actually a really good book, but uh, I'm gonna say it's a 9.6 on it. This is the last book, everyone. Ready? Yeah. Drum roll, please. I think she's serious. Okay, I had a feeling she was saving 9.8 because she gave me a heart attack with the Black Panther last time. And since I'm saying that now. The next boxing, I guarantee you the last book's going to be a 3.5. I try and mix it up. She's going to save a 3.5 for the last book and break my heart for the last one. But anyway, so we got a 9.8 on our, on our spider Gwen number one. Uh, I I think it's a really good cover on this. I think that it, you know, that's one of those ones that you can definitely put up and look at from a distance and go, cool. Um, there are certain covers that just stand out. You don't have like, well, what book is that? You know it. And that's this is one of those ones. And I'm, I'm really happy about that. So I'd love to know your thoughts. And I'll tell you mine. I did okay. I did not do as well as I had hoped. Um, there are a couple of books in there that are, I expected not mint crates. I told you there are a couple that I thought were fine to very fine. There's a couple in there that are just barely good. Um, 4.0. Really? A what? 4.0. Yeah. Um, so it's how much I'm paying attention. The, the real low one. It's like when I pulled the 4.0 on the Amazing Spider-Man first appearance of uh, uh, Mary Jane Watson, and I honestly thought that was a 5.5 to a 6. Anyway, I thank you guys so much for joining us. Had a lot of fun. <laughs> Everybody say goodbye. Don't goodbye. forget to don't forget to like, subscribe, Thumbs and uh, and <laughs> click on notifications.